spider webs appear to be located in very specific places where they can be fastened on the vegetation where prey is abundant in humid places. This is Araneus diadematus with a vertical web. And this is Tetragnatha, which builds a horizontal web very close to the water. Most webs are built at specific times. Araneus builds in the early morning hours, just before sunrise. When the light is favorable, you can see the laying of the sticky spiral across radii. Aluminum frames in the laboratory seem to be just as good a place for spiders to build webs as the shrubbery outside. And we can create the temperature and light conditions in the laboratory to simulate a summer morning. Watch the laying of radii in various directions at about a hundred times normal speed. A temporary spiral is laid as a scaffold and now the sticky spiral is laid from the outside in in pendulum turns and in circular turns. Spiral building really takes about 90% of the web building time. Notice how the temporary spiral is taken down while the sticky spiral is constructed. Near the hub, the spider leaves a narrow open zone which makes it possible for the animal 
to climb from one side of the web to the other. Watch now some of the building stones of web building behavior, simple pieces of motion in a slowed down version of the film. This is about six times slower than normal movement. The front legs of the spider, now at the lower end, probe for existing threads. The hind legs manipulate the new thread. And the middle legs are mainly the walking legs. Now watch the inner and outer front leg probing for existing threads. And the outer hind leg holds the thread while the spinneret presses the new thread against the radius. Probing. And fastening of new thread. Probing on the inside again. Probing on the outside. This is web building at normal speed. Watch the hind legs again laying the thread. The front legs probing for distances. The four middle legs running along. In prey catching, we see the same probing movements. This is in slow motion again. Probing with the front legs. And wrapping with the hind legs, the thread around the prey. This is an early stage of web building shown at normal speed. The spider sits in the future hub. The front legs establish the existing structure. Spider straddles the angle. And now runs out laying a new radius Fastening it on the frame and returning to the hub. Look at the practically blind animal probing for existing radii. Now having laid a new radius again. running out on the third one, doubling back toward the center. Watch the probing movements of the first legs. But second and third can probe too from time to time.
Another radius is laid. The radius laying is nearly finished by now. Spider doubles back. This is a Y structure. The radius just laid is cut. The spider refastens the hub. measuring all the angles around and comes to the oversized angle created by the of the rates probing with the front legs and rushing down with a new radius to fill the existing open space with the Y structure again Look at how the web is retightened all the time. When the rage's face is finished, the animal begins to lay the temporary spiral from the inside out. It has been claimed that the distance between auxiliary spiral turns is determined by the size of an animal. And now the first turn of the sticky spiral is laid from the outside in. Remember that the radial phase and the Temporary spiral phase are finished by now. Watch the probing legs again. Drumming on the radius. And watch the hind legs fastening the sticky thread. A pendulum turn, the spider returns and spaces the next sticky spiral turn in close but very exact distance from the one before. The hind legs pull the thread out of the spinnerets, hold the old thread while the new thread is fused to the old thread. Look at the middle legs moving the spider forward from radius to radius. From further distant, we see the spider where it is in web building. About 10 to 15 sticky spiral turns have been completed. The temporary spiral is taken down. And the sticky spiral laid turn by turn from the outside toward the hub. Notice the probing with the front legs again, the thread laying with the hind legs. This is a beautiful view of the underside of the spider. Thread coming out of the spinnerets.
Now watch ahead of the spider is a broken radius. The spider is now past the radius phase. It's in the spiral laying phase so it does not replace the broken radius at this point. and we speed up the finishing of the web. Settles down in the middle, restructures the hub. This part again is in slow motion. A fly is brought with the forceps into the lower right part of the web. The spider probes after it has assured itself that a weighty object is in the web, it runs down, bites and now carries the prey in the mouth parts toward the top of the picture back into the hub. Watch the slow motion movements of the legs again. And as the spider settles down in the hub, it repairs the damage done to the web through prey catching. It's quite easy to give drugs to spiders. One can dissolve them in sugar water and hang them to the mouth part of the spider The pattern of the drug web is characteristic for each type of drug. Actually, one can identify drug actions through their effects on web building.